Botswana. Now, the Labor Department is uh, trying to hire less foreigners in all sectors. It was sparked by violent attacks against foreign nationals employed as truck drivers. Labor Minister Tulas Nlaisi says many employers also take advantage of workers, making them work long hours for low pay. Now, Michael Yates, Director in Employment Practice at uh, Cliff Decker Hofmeyer, joins me now via Skype. Uh, Michael, thank you so much uh, for joining us. I suppose it's easier said than done, isn't it? Yes, hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, no, look, the, the, this is a debate that has been ongoing for some time, and there's a lot of pressure uh, on government from, uh, from South Africans to try and hire uh, more South Africans and less foreign nationals. It's a tricky balancing act because South Africa's got various socioeconomic uh, considerations uh, where, where this could impact, uh, as well as its own international relations with, with our neighboring countries to, to bear in mind. But, uh, but this discussion really came about on the 7th of May during a parliamentary discussion where um, the development of new labor policies were, were discussed. Uh, talk to us about the current laws at the moment. Well, the, the, the current laws, uh, the, even though they give preference to South Africans, um, they, they don't particularly create any form of limitation or restriction on the number of foreign nationals that can work in a particular sector. Now, what the Department of Employment and Labor have, have held, or, or, or the view that they have, is that there's a prevalence to employ foreign nationals and more particularly undocumented foreign nationals in certain sectors that they've identified. These sectors include the freight and logistics industry, uh, private security, restaurants, agriculture, and hospitality, where they find that, uh, that, that there is a, a preference by employers to, to employ foreign nationals, partly because of skills, but also because of, of cheap labor, thereby uh, ousting South Africans um, out of these sectors. And, and I think this is the, the evil that, that government is trying to remedy. You are to create some form of quota or a percentage um, limiting the amount of foreign nationals that can work in these sectors. Uh, and also you've got uh, the ministers mentioning unscrupul unscrupulous uh, you know, uh, business owners or hiring illegal foreigners because it's cheap labor and so forth. Uh, you know, what, what, what does the, the ministry or the department actually do about that? Do we have uh, labor inspecting a lot of these factories? And a lot, a lot of this happens in some of the factories, the unscrupulous factories that we have uh, in our cities. What do they do about it at the present moment? We, we, we do have quite stringent immigration laws that, that, that regulate um, the, the employment of foreign nationals, but I think that there is perhaps a bit of a problem with, with uh, the enforcement of, uh, of, of these pieces of legislation that, that are designed to protect the South African labor market as well. So, so part of the, the department's strategy is to look towards the enforcement of, of existing laws um, in, in order to, to ensure compliance with uh, with. Uh, the legislation, um, and then introducing these limitations that we that we've discussed uh, a little bit earlier. Um, government will most likely start cracking down, particularly on the sectors that I, that I've mentioned a little bit earlier, to check their compliance with the immigration legislation to make sure that they do not employ uh, undocumented foreigners uh, within their sectors. So, how can um, em employers ensure that they're complying with these current laws and, I suppose, the the new laws that we're expecting? Well, well, I, I think the, the the most important aspect is is to make sure that if you do employ any foreign nationals, ensure that you know that they are actually authorised to conduct those working activities for you um, as an employer. If if your your employees, uh, foreign employees, are not authorised to work for you, then already there's some cause of concern. Um, so. In that respect, it would be best to try and, and ensure that all of your uh, workforce uh, who are foreign nationals do have the right documentations uh, to work for you, which particularly means that, that, that their work visas would need to specify your company's name um, and that it also uh, authorizes the activities that they are busy with uh, in your sector. Um, a, a, it is very scarce to see a, a very open-ended general or generic kind of work visa that doesn't specify the name of the employer or a particular activity. Um, 
so, so just, just be vigilant. Now, now, Michael, lastly, for those who may be up in arms about this proposed new legislation, uh, this is common in many other countries. We won't be the first country to do this. No, that's correct. We, we have seen other uh, African countries as well, um, but also countries across the world that do try to protect particular vulnerable sectors within their economy by placing uh, limitations on, on the employment of foreign nationals. Um, it is not a new phenomenon. It is just not something that South Africa has indulged in um, historically. All right, thank you so much, uh, Michael Yates, Director of Employment Practices, Cliff Decker-Hoffmeyer. Elsewhere in the world,